and supporters of Women's Fund El Dorado. My name is Emily Smith and I'm the current chair of the Women's Fund El Dorado Cabinet. It is an honor to join with you virtually today to announce our 2021 grant recipients. But first, we want to thank you for your continued support of our community. We are eternally grateful to our members and supporters and sponsors who work together as champions for the betterment of our community. Thank you to our bronze sponsors. Carter Kelly Inc., El Dorado Disposal, Cold Springs Dental, and Red Hot Casino. And thank you to our silver sponsors, El Dorado Savings Bank, Serrano, and Pacific Investment Consultants. Through the power of collective giving, Women's Fund El Dorado is once again able to grant $100,000 of grant funding this year. And as you will see, your membership contributions will be put to good work in our community this year. We hope to join together with you in October live to continue celebrating the impacts that Women's Fund El Dorado makes right where we live. We are excited to share the news of our 2021 recipients. And so without further ado, the winners are... Hi everyone, welcome to our uh, Imagination Theater Board meeting. Can we get a quick update on the Women's Fund before we get to the agenda? Absolutely. Super exciting, you guys, we got it. Excellent, that was for $8,000, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Uh, what was that program again? Youth Empowerment Through the Performing Arts. That's great. So the kids will be able to produce their own shows? Yes, now the real work begins. We, we have to start marketing the program. Well, after we create it. And we need to identify the teaching artist and a program manager for the project. And we need to, of course, get those people tied into our current plans regarding uh, the upcoming season. Sounds like good work, though. It does, and very worthwhile. If I can help, please let me know. Me too. This is so exciting. <laughs> I wish there was a way we could communicate how very grateful we are for this. Oh, I think they'll know. Thank, Thank you, Women's Fund. Hello, my name is Nikki Gardea and I'm the president of MJ's Project. And I wanted to get dressed up and do this thank you video with my daughter, MJ, the founder, but unfortunately our schedules just conflict and then I'm always running around, um, working and running the project and taking care of the kids. But I wanted to make sure I got this thank you in so you guys would know how grateful we are to you. And my son is driving right now so I could be able to do this. Um, we really super appreciate you guys choosing us and we know that you had a lot of different nonprofits to choose from and you chose us and we are just so grateful for you believing in us and the teens that we help. So as you know, this grant is going to be used to help homeless and at-risk teens access the most basic life essentials that they are missing. And without this grant and funding, we could not do all that we do and we currently serve over 300 struggling teenagers and we can only do that because of people like you so thank you so much for your support and your grant and we look forward to meeting you guys in person one day
Hello and a giant thank you to all of the members of the Women's Fund for selecting Housing El Dorado as one of your ACORN grant recipients for this year. I'm Bethany Hendricks, a board member with Housing El Dorado, and we are just beyond excited to have been awarded this grant. What it means to us is that we will be able to extend and continue to expand some of the navigation services that are so important to help people get into housing. I'm going to show you a little bit of a video of us at a barbecue tonight, and it's a bit of a celebration for the Pathways program as we enter into the final night of shelter offered. It's bittersweet because it means that some of these folks who've been staying with us no longer have shelter for the immediate term, but we have a commitment to continue to look for solutions and we're so grateful that you likewise see that homelessness is a problem that can and should be solved. Thank you for partnering with us. Hi, I'm Maureen I'm from the Housing El Dorado Board of Directors, and we just want to say thank you so much to the Women's Fund. The money we got for the computers and tablets are going to really make a difference to bring navigation services into the field, into where people are, so that we can connect people to the kind of services that they need. You're really making a difference. Hi, my name is Frank, and I also, I'm the Vice President of Housing El Dorado. I want to add my thanks and appreciation to the Women's Fund of El Dorado County. We are so grateful for the funding, and rest assured we're going to put it to great use uh, working with homeless and those who are transitioning out of homelessness and getting them back into gainful employment and school and other resources. So thank you so much for your generous contribution. Hi, my name is Margaret Lewis, and I'm the Homeless Youth Coordinator for El Dorado County Office of Education. I want to thank you for having me today and for allowing me the opportunity to express my gratitude to Women's Fund El Dorado for the $8,000 we were awarded through the Impact Grant. This money will provide a discretionary fund for schools and districts to assist in removing unexpected barriers to the education of homeless youth. What kinds of barriers, you may ask? It's likely that at least one of the families I work with woke up in an RV this morning, the cold of the night having kept sleep at bay. The blankets they'd taken from their last day in their own home did not stand up against the cold of sleeping in the RV. This grant award may just provide a new down sleeping bag for the child so that the lack of sleep doesn't keep them away from school. Another of our families likely woke up in the home of a family friend. They have access to a bathroom and shower but having been told to supply their own hygiene needs, a single mother had choices to make. Choices between diapers and shampoo or soap, or between deodorant and laundry detergent. The teenage daughter couldn't be convinced to attend school. She's sure that her classmates will smell her homelessness. This grant may fund the essential needs that keep her from feeling confident enough to even attend class. One of our students likely woke up in transitional shelter this morning, and perhaps after having been doing school from home for the last year, having put on a little weight, and suddenly not having any pants to fit, there's no attire for him to wear. The family doesn't have the extra $20 to purchase a new pair of jeans for school today. This is a generous community that has ways to resolve each of these problems. Unfortunately, these concerns, and many like them, don't work on a timeline, and they often present themselves in ways that make even the briefest of delays in having the need met create a time of school absence, which further exacerbates the existing problems. Thanks to Women's Fund El Dorado, we'll be able to respond. One night of cold is too many, but an immediate response will keep one night from becoming many nights a missed class, perhaps, instead of a missed college scholarship. A set of hygiene supplies may keep one uncomfortable situation from becoming a lifelong, damaging self-perception of unworthiness for an aspiring engineer. A new pair of jeans on the day they're needed may mean that the young person who is to cure cancer 
is in science class on the day the idea that will grow into the cure is planted. These are small steps to a long journey in the educational success of students experiencing homelessness, but each step taken is one step closer. And I'm so grateful to be walking alongside Women's Fund El Dorado in this effort. Thank you again for your support. At Hands for Hope Youth Making a Difference, we are honored to have the support of Women's Fund El Dorado. Your support will help us fulfill our mission to inspire and empower youth in leadership and service while helping our community. The Women's Fund El Dorado grant is instrumental in our efforts to continue and grow the Hands for Hope Emergency Food Pantry, which is housed in our Placerville Youth Center and will serve about 250 food insecure people each month. During these unprecedented times, providing meals is more important than ever. COVID-19 caused schools to shut down along with school breakfast and lunch programs. The Emergency Food Pantry is working to help fill this food insecurity gap. Hands for Hope Youth were able to recognize this critical community need and address it quickly using real world problem solving and leadership skills. While the Emergency Food Pantry is vital today, the skills learned by our youth will serve them and future communities for a lifetime. Each month, our youth will be responsible for collecting donations, running the food fulfillment process, and organizing and coordinating food distribution events. This is a valuable and tangible way to cultivate civic-minded and socially responsible citizens, which is at the heart of what Hands for Hope is about. We say thank you to the Women's Fund members for recognizing the importance of the work Hands for Hope Youth Making a Difference is doing and for helping to fund our efforts. Thank you, Women's Fund El Dorado. Thank you! Hello, Women's Fund. We are extremely grateful to you for awarding more with the impact grant of $8,000. With your help, we were able to pay the balance we owed for our generator in full. We are so happy to now have a very big generator that can operate and keep our kitchen going for days. And we have the capacity to plug in additional computers, washers, as well as a few other key electricity powered items to keep services open. Because of this grant, we have the perfect backup energy source that will keep power on for as long as we need. It will provide enough power to keep our food storage capacity big, not only for the folks we support at Moore, but for the entire El Dorado County community. This award will have immediate value for any power outages but also huge value far into the future if a crisis presents itself in El Dorado County. We will be able to provide hot meals for people who could face evacuation from their homes or the first responders who are sent in to make sure everyone is taken care of. We will be able to continue preparing food for our clients and the community in a time of distress whether due to emergency power shutoffs or other unforeseen crises. Laura, this is Jordan. Yes? No. You do? Oh, okay. Well, thank you. We just got notice there's going to be a public safety power outage. We need to find maintenance and turn the generator on now. Wow, do you have any idea how much food we would have lost without that generator? Thank you, Women's Fund El Dorado, you saved us. We can continue to have lights on in the main dining hall and main hallway during times of power outages so we can keep our day program up and running smoothly. You have helped us make our promise to this community become reality.
This is Janine Ellenwood, the Medical Director at Snowline. We at Snowline are overjoyed to have been awarded this wonderful grant for our pilot study, a nurse-led, home-based palliative care pilot to improve quality of life for patients with advanced dementia. By allowing Snowline to create a pilot to extend its palliative care program to include patients with advanced dementia, these funds are helping to support caregivers and the families in their collaboration for these patients. This program has the potential to open the way to a true difference in people's lives in the western slope of El Dorado County. Thank you for helping Snowline develop this important pilot. And for all the patients and families who this pilot can help, thank you. Hello, my name is Victor Antonio, Executive Director of New Morning Youth and Family Services. We've been serving the community of El Dorado County for over 50 years. With a passion for what we do and a level of competency to accompany that passion, New Morning provides professional counseling services, victims of crime advocacy, case management and social work through our Latino outreach, and life skills development to our foster kids. There is one other program which we are always proud of. It's our runaway and homeless youth shelter, the Ashby House. This shelter has become a sanctuary and a resource for thousands of children and youth who needed a warm meal and comfortable bed. It's within this array of services that New Morning's LGBTQ youth group surfaced. This youth group has become a place of belonging for the lonely, a healing ground for those that are broken and a constant in the lives of those individuals who need someone to welcome them just as they are. Studies show that LGBTQ plus youth in rural populations are at particularly high risk for suicide due to factors such as geographic isolation, a deficit in LGBTQ plus specific therapeutic and or case management resources, and lack of peer and community connections. Needless to say, providing early mental health support to youth who are struggling is an absolutely critical component to their successful development as human beings. New Morning Youth and Family Services has been awarded the Inspiration Grant in the amount of $26,000 to support the LGBTQ youth of our community. New Morning will provide support services for a minimum of 150 queer youth throughout the western slope of El Dorado County. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your commitment to brightening the futures of our community's LGBTQ plus youth.